Okay, y'all, Stephanie Stevens here. Now, I'm going to be honest. This is not making fun of the opportunity. I'm grateful for the opportunity. But I did an um, a, a impromptu performance in Los Angeles um, uh, about six or seven days ago. And I'm waiting until now to tell you because now everything is done and the, everything is signed on the dotted line. So it's done. But I'm grateful for the opportunity. But the comedian part of me wants to tell you about Los Angeles and how they just flew me in and flew me out, flew me back to Toronto. It was, it was fabulous. I'm going to say it was fabulous. So thank you, sir. Thank you. But I told you I was going to do this here because the comedian part of me had to do it. Now, y'all know, they took me shopping. And they asked me if where did I want to go, and I, you know me, I'm not used to big fancy boutiques and stuff like that. I'm not very good for those kind of things. I know what I like. I order it online, and it comes to my house, and I'm good. I don't want to be in a store with a snotty salesperson trying to sell me a fifteen thousand dollar purse um, when I know. Um, I can't afford that, or if I could afford that, I'm not really interested in that. I Generally, when I go into any high-end store or any store, I know exactly what I want. So, and with drag, I only buy women's stuff because of drag, so I don't need no Valentino bag, because ain't no bag big enough to put all those wigs and high heel shoes in at Valentino, unless you're buying a suitcase or a luggage, and I'm never going to be buying a trunk or a suit or giant suitcase at Valentino that I know will not hold all that drag that I have to drag around from city to city. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. Now, I've never... First of all, I went to a party in Beverly Hills after we did all of the shooting for the shows and everything. Let me tell you something. I'm, this is stuff that I'm not good at. I'm not good with hobnobbing with rich people in fake time. I can't do it. i never seen so many young white women, I'm going to just say it the way it is, white women trying to fit in with some older women that that, that, that built Hollywood. I'll just say it like that, that built Hollywood. They're the ones that brought me out to do the thing. Hollywood is so fake, y'all. And Beverly Hills is so fake. The money is real. But Hollywood and the lifestyle not the lifestyle, the, the, the attitude of the people is just so fake. Everybody is trying to outdo everybody. I never heard <laughs> I never heard so many oh, oh I just couldn't do that. Oh that's just not me. Ew and I was like, what is <laughs> what is happening here? Let me tell you something. For me, I live in real time in real life. And I don't want to live around a bunch of people, no matter how much money I have. I cannot live around a bunch of people talking about, how do you do? And, oh, hello. And, <laughs> how dare you? How dare you question my um, uh, my Valentino suit I have on? This is the Valentino, the original. He, he personally made this for me. He came over to my chalet in the south of France. <laughs> I'm laughing at all this stuff. These people sitting around listening to their conversations, and they didn't know me from Adam, and they were probably trying to figure out what this black man doing here. And I was just hanging out. I was just there. And yeah, let me tell you something. When it came time, they had a buffet of all this stuff. I wish I could have filmed it and showed y'all because y'all would have fell out. Because I was like, well, where? I need <laughs> a hamburger and some french fries because I don't eat no beluga and all of that stuff. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all should have known when y'all drug me over here that I, I, kept, I protested the whole way going over there, but my agent, she kept poking me in the back telling me to be quiet. <laughs> I mean to be quiet because I was like, well, I don't really, I, I, I don't think, I, I don't think I should go over there because how do you act in front of a bunch of rich people trying to be society and all this stuff. And I was like, listen, the first thing they're going to be looking at is what I got on. And I'm wondering, am I here to park their cars or what? And I don't want to have to cuss them out. <laughs> I don't want to have to cuss them out. So, of course, I went in. They're introducing me. And you can see some of these white young girls looking at me like, 
Well, I've never. And I was like, well, I've never either. I didn't ask to come here, okay, lady? <laughs> I burn this place down if y'all <laughs> keep messing with me. <laughs> and uh, But anyway, I was there, and I couldn't believe it. They had chefs that sliced the food up for you and everything and all this stuff. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm not used to this in Toronto. I mean, but it's a nice lifestyle to have. It, it really is. And the people were dressed nice. But I just cannot understand that. How do you have friends like that? Everybody is so fake. Even my agent, she was just poking, <laughs> poking me. Cause I was like, the you know, you, generally, when they're putting the food on the plate, I don't want them counting the food. I mean, just put the pile it on there, you know, pile it on there. But everybody was eating like, how do you do? And like this here, these little things. And I'm thinking, oh, I ain't got time to be eating one rich scratch with a little piece of caviar on it at a time. Just put all of the caviar on the plate and I'm going to go over here and eat it. It ain't that I'm... um. I'm bougie or nothing. It's just that I don't have time to be eating one rich scraps at a time. I like to eat my food all at one time, put it all on the plate, and that's it. And <laughs> the music they were playing, oh, Lord, they were playing the music. that I never heard so much elevator music in my life. I was like, uh-uh, you don't ever bring me to another one of these here. And the she was like, well, how did the, the lady who booked the thing for me, she says, she called me Larry. She said, Larry, how, how you like everything? I said, oh, it's amazing. This is beautiful. This is fabulous. It's wonderful. She said, how's the food? I said, the food, <laughs> the food is good. I, I, said, I haven't gotten much of anything yet. I'm going to try to get some stuff on this plate here. And it, <laughs> she was looking at me like, well, you must try. the." Bel she was saying all this stuff, the beluga and the and the trava voga and all these kind of things. And I'm thinking, do y'all got any catfish? <laughs> Catfish with some gravy on the side, and I make some cornbread. And, so, and she was just looking at me like, what in the world are you talking about? <laughs> like, I was like, I, I, don't need all, I, don't, I don't eat no caviar. I don't like the way it tastes. It tastes hard. How do you eat caviar? Caviar is gross. I'm sorry. I had it there, and I was, <laughs> I was having a fit. <laughs> My agent was like, don't say nothing about the food. She was like, don't say nothing about the food. I'm, I can't take it. Black people don't eat caviar. And if they do, it must be Denzel Washington or Beyonce or somebody like that. But uh-uh. Mm, 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 no matter how much money I get in life or have in life, I will never eat caviar. I am not good for high-end stores. I don't mind getting some stuff from the stores, but I'm not dealing with people in that, that hoity-toity attitude. And secondly, I don't eat caviar and all of that stuff. I'm, ain't nothing wrong with you. You like that stuff. That's okay. But give me a cheeseburger and some french fries and, you know, just go in the kitchen and cook them up real quick like you used to before you had any money and I'll be all right. But... I could not stop laughing at this party. Everybody's standing around talking about looking at each other and, and doing all this kind of stuff, trying to see who's got on what and looking like what. And there I am in my Wally M's, my Walmart, <laughs> my Walmart stuff, and everybody's looking at me like. And I was like, I was. I told my agent, I said, I, I ain't, I ain't gonna be moved from this spot. Let <laughs> me get my food and sit down in this one spot. I'm not moving. And the man kept coming around with the with the champagne or the little wine or whatever it was, and it was delicious. The wine was delicious. Whatever the wine was, they was giving out. That was delicious. I had a couple of glasses that to calm my nerves because them white girls were staring at me over there, uh, trying to figure out was I there to park their car or what was I doing there? And I was like, I I don't want to have to cuss them out because <laughs> I can feel if I have one more glass of wine. I'm about to cuss them out from looking at me. I don't be looking at me. I'm the drag queen that did the big brunch for y'all. That's that's who I am. And y'all loved it. And I made lots of coins and I'm happy. But um, otherwise, I'm about to cuss y'all out because uh, this food, I do not understand. This, 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 how do you do? And, oh, hello, darling. How are you? I can't take all of that. I can't take all of that.
big dick over there. That was my time I spent in Beverly Hills, y'all. Oh, Lord, I'm missing. It was something else. It really was.